something, something that I, in my quest to get past fears of my life, this has been something I have talked about doing for, uh, I don't know, how long did they get? About a billion years. A billion years. And today, I'm doing it. So I'm going to take you with me, and we'll see what I'm talking about. Not yet. So, so, all right, so this is it. I am here in front of the place where I am getting, at 66 years of age, my first tattoo. She's not a virgin anymore. I'm not gonna be a virgin anymore after this. I'm bringing flowers to the tattoo lady, but I'm gonna get something right here on my arm. And uh, I'm a little nervous, I gotta tell you, my stomach is gurgling. Motorcycles and flames, right? Yeah, motorcycles and flames. We'll, we'll, we'll bring you inside, come on. Okay, so it started easy enough, you know, just a little bit of paperwork and then Cammie, who was referred to me by a friend who I loved her tattoo that she had done by Cammie. Mm -hmm. And so she started to sketch out on my arm. The facility was lovely, clean. Cleanliness is important on something like that. So look at her getting her alcohol out there on my arm. And uh, again, I'm sitting there going, am I really doing this? Is this really happening to me in my life right now? But the biggest thing for me was, is that I was so afraid of this. I, in high school, I had gone to a party where a friend had gotten a tattoo and it got very ugly very quickly. Uh, and I just, all my life yeah, sure. had thought about it, but never got it done. Cami was awesome. She walked me through the process and, you know, I was ready. You know, I think with anything that we're super afraid of, once we're ready, we're ready. And I was ready for both the pain if it was there and just the reality of the permanence of this tattoo. So she drew it out. We tried a couple of different sizes of what it would be, and then she went ahead and um, with that all in place, she went ahead again, more alcohol, more cleaning, more getting it in place of what had to be, and then she pressed down the temporary tattoo just to make sure that I liked it that it was, oh, look at that skull and crossbones there in the mirror. I don't think I saw that when I was getting the tattoo anyway, but she put it down so that I could see what and it would it, look like <laughs> before <laughs> it was permanently on my arm. Ed was there in the background giving lots of feedback and voila, there it was, the temporary tattoo, exactly as we had talked about and as Cammie had drawn up for me. And I loved it. The size was good. It was all good. There I was. It was time to put the needle in. Look at the look on my face. I was, I think, more nervous. I never have been a fan of doctor's offices or needles or any of that. I don't know about you, but I think I was more nervous than the pain actually warranted it. It was more just like a pen prick. And I picked a part of my arm that they say is probably the least painful part to do it. So it only took like less than an hour and there it was, the permanent tattoo. Now it looks really red and unhappy here, but that only lasted a day or two. But there was my tattoo in the very beginning stages and she still had more to do, uh, which she did and she put ointment on it and then gave me a lollipop. And it's so funny, the lollipop did the trick. It took my mind off of the tattoo part of it and I was just focused on, and it was a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop to be sure. So I knew that chocolate was coming <laughs> at the end of that lollipop. So uh, there it was and me laying there mm -hmm, enjoying every moment of the lollipop. I know tattoos are a big decision for everybody. And um, once Cammie got me bandaged up and gave me instructions what I needed to do for the next couple of days, I actually for three weeks didn't want to get it in the sun, etc. 
she uh you know gave me some paperwork that went with it all those things everybody was teasing me how this will just be my first one now i don't know about that one i kind of think this will be the last one but there we were and then smiling at the end with my tattoo under the bandage month has gone by since I got the tattoo and this morning I thought I would share with you before I finish up this video about the tattoo, the tattoo. And we're here in the season of change, which really brings us to the point of sitting yeah, here in the hot tub this morning. I thought I would show you the tattoo. Here it is. Every day I wake up to it and I uh, feel pretty blessed about many things and it reminds me to, to remember my blessings girlfriend of mine said it reminds her of flora and fauna and peace and hope and I think that's what we need are little reminders like that and for me the biggest part of it has been around just change accepting change doing something that scares you because it's so permanent and um, yeah some days are better than others I've been out gardening getting all the garden together so it's a little my arm is a little banged up from that but uh, other than that I really do love it so what change are you looking to do in your life right now what what thing do you fear that you would love to make a change with and that's really what about doing a tattoo or whatever it is something that challenges you to think beyond the norm it's pretty cool. Hope you've enjoyed my little journey on my tattoo. Please subscribe to our channel, like, and share with anyone that you think might be wanting to get over something they're fearful of. People have asked, will I have another tattoo? I don't think so, but one never knows.